my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this look with only using drugstore products. So if you want to see how I get to this look and which drugstore products I use, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, fresh, clean face, and I'm just in a different part of my living room, so it's a new setting. For moisturizer today, we're going in with Dual Actions Clean and Clear. This is my favorite drugstore moisturizer. I really do love this moisturizer because it's a two-in-one. It kicks acne's butt as well as moisturizing my face. Now for primer today, we're using Physician Formula Insta Ready. The pump doesn't work for me, so I just like unscrew it. No big deal. Making sure to hit up my T-zone, especially by my nose, and then up on my forehead and all over the rest of my face, feeling nice nice and refreshed. Now for foundation, CoverGirl's Outlast Stay Fabulous. It's a three-in-one. It is used as a primer, foundation, and also it is a sunscreen. I also obviously used a primer, but I always have to use a primer. Using Physicians Formula Insta Ready line for their setting spray, I used that on my Real Technique sponge just to dampen it up a bit. Using the pouncing motion, instead of spreading the product, I like to pounce it on in. The finish when you use a sponge like that is so great. For eyebrows today, I'm using the e.l.f. Need It nude palette. I'm using the second to darkest color on that palette. I love this palette using an angled brush. It really does work so well to fill in my brows. Now once I fill them in, I go in with a clean brush just to make sure that there is no excess brown powder outside of my brow. Now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Going back in with the Knead It Nude palette, I'm using the lightest color on the base of my eyelid. Then going in with the pink color just to start off with the transition. Now moving along to the brown color color that I use for my brows. We're going to deepen up that transition in the crease. Before going with this sparkly cream eyelid color, I use this. It's from e.l.f. I use this on my e.l.f. tutorial. I'm going to link that down below because I really do love the e.l.f. products that I use for that. Now just going in with a deep brown color to transition and deepen up the crease. I always like to use a fluffy brush to make sure that all colors look nice and blended in. Today I'm using Ardell's lashes. I got these from Harman's. I love these lashes. Now to transition them from my real lashes and fake lashes, we're using Telescopic's Shocking Extensions by L'Oreal. For concealer today, I'm going in with Maybelline's Age Rewind. I use this in their brightening color. I use it as a concealer underneath my eyes as well as a highlighter in all of the spots that I usually would. Then going back in with the Real Technique sponge, making sure to pounce it on in for a beautiful transition. Before contouring, today I'm using Hard Candies contour and highlight stick. I use this for my cream contour drugstore versus high-end cream contour tutorial. If you want to check that out, I'm going to link that down below. I love this hard candy contour stick. It is so nice. The color, it just works so well. Even though when I first initially put it on, it looks so dark. It's kind of scary. Just work with it. Get a nice blending brush. I use this Real Techniques. It's a contour brush. You could tell I sped this part up because I really go in there and I really just swivel it on in. Take your time make sure to blend it on in. You don't want any harsh lines, but I really do love a cream contour. I just went to a wedding and I cream contoured. Whew, it is the best look. Now using a smaller dense brush for my nose, I love to contour my nose. It really does make the look that much better. Now we're gonna set it with some powder, Maybelline's Translucent Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, fave beyond fave, you guys already know it. And for the contour part, I'm going to use Maybelline's Face Studio Bronzer. I do love this bronzer. I don't use it nearly as much as I probably should, but I do love it. For blush, it's Milani's Baked Blush in Rose de Oreo. Beautiful color. Don't get scared with the dense colors. Just make sure you have a sibling brush on hand to blend it all on in so there are no harsh lines. Now another e.l.f. product, we're going to use this eyeliner to deepen up the look with a little bit of a wing as well as using it as a little bit of an eraser. I'm going to make sure to go over any of the glue. I don't want anyone seeing that we're wearing fake eyelashes. Once I'm done with the eyeliner, I then use the telescopic mascara to hit up the bottom lashes to complete the eye look. 
Then for a highlighter, I start off with NYX Narcissistic Highlight. It was okay, not my favorite. So I wanted to go back in with the Need It Nude Palette by e.l.f. I really do love that palette. I use it so many times in this video, as you can see. I love that sparkly color. I hit up in the tear ducts under my brow bone. Then I use my finger for the tip of my nose, and I love it as the cheekbone highlight. It's just such a beautiful glistening color. Now, I start off for lips with this beautiful light pink shimmery color. It does look so nice. I spray with the Physicians Formula Setting Spray, and then I just, I just felt like I looked a little like flushed out. So I wanted a little darker lip. The Revlon Ultra HD color, this was definitely a darker lip. I love the way it came out though. It's a beautiful pink, and I do think with like these big bold lashes, it comes together so well. And there you have it guys, a full look only using drugstore products. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely love using drugstore products. I don't see why you have to go high end. Sure, there are some great high end products, but I really do love a lot of drugstore stuff, so I figured this video would be great, especially for all you newbies. Don't spend your money when you don't have to. These products work just as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I love you so much for watching. Until my next video next week, bye guys.